Good afternoon. I should have released. I should have released a video. Oops. Um. Let's do this real quick. Um. I hate how I look a little bit orange, uh, in this shot. But hey, hey ho, it be like that sometimes. Hello. I am recording this on a Friday afternoon. It is ten past twelve. This is my first. In no, no. I had three cups of green tea this morning. I woke up relatively early. I listened to an audiobook and finished it. And yesterday I decided to DNF a book. DNF is did not finish. And I think maybe I might go back to it at a later stage. But for now, no. Nah. I finished off a book that I started reading two days ago. I finished it off in the early hours of this morning while I was laying in bed. It was an audiobook, and the name of the book is, here we go, here we go, The Perfect Child. As you can see, I have just finished it. I finished it this morning, and listen, I'm somebody who reads Karen Slaughter. And Karen Slaughter does a lot of thrillers, even one would say bordering on horror novels. Um, and they're dark. Karen Slaughter's books are dark. But this, this is a thriller, okay? It's called The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry. And sweetie, it's dark, okay? I have a thing, and it could be the fact that I'm quite messed up in the head. <laughs> hey ho, neither here nor there. Uh, it could be that fact, or something else but i have a thing for reading about disturbed little kids in horrors or in thrillers and same applies watching visually i really love like like the omen like you know movies with little kids that are quite problematic you know what i'm saying poltergeist you know what i'm saying um just thriller movies with kids that are like azitimzala lana lana azitimzala and this is an Azitim Zala kind of situation with a little six-year-old. Let me tell you. Hannah and Christopher are a married couple. Christopher is an orthopedic surgeon and Hannah is a nurse and they work in the same hospital. Married for about six years, love each other, want to have a child. Hannah fell pregnant a few years ago, uh, had a miscarriage, if I remember correctly. And so the story starts off with this little girl. The story is told from three point of views. The social worker dealing with this case, uh, Hannah, the wife, and Christopher, the husband. And this little girl comes into their hospital. Let me tell you, this little girl is just in a state. She is malnutrition. She's got bruises all over her body. She's just broken bones, everything. And Christopher ends up operating on this little girl. They try to find out about the parents, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. The girl comes from a very troubled background. Long story short, Christopher falls in love with this girl, okay? Operates on this little girl with these beautiful blue eyes and falls in love with her, and so does Hannah. And he gets Hannah into, you know, come see the girl, come see the girl. Long story short, they end up adopting this girl. This girl's got problems. <laughs> when I tell you that this girl has got serious problems, I, uh, listen, it's the screaming, it's the pooping, and taking her poop and drawing on the walls with it. It's, the, there's just a lot, okay? There's just a lot that this girl does and there's a lot more that's even more disturbing and it's a beautiful fast-paced it's not beautiful but it's a fast-paced thriller that is a great read and i read it in two days uh, or listened to it in two days and i loved it i gave it a five out of five i rated it on my goodreads and i did a review on my goodreads and for my instagram as well because i put my reviews on instagram as well but if they are audio reviews i put them on my snaps as opposed to putting them on the feed and then i just add that snap to the book highlight on instagram you know what i'm saying so wow you know what i'm saying 
very hectic but a very good book i enjoyed it after i dnf'd this other book i really needed something that would not put me in a slump i needed something that's going to get me going and keep me on this track of reading my books now i'm on 22 books for the year very very happy my goal is 35 we're in july right now it's the 29th of july so i'm pre i'm looking pretty good um and i'm hoping in august i can read maybe another two three not four two three books as well in august we'll see um, you guys are going to help me pick my next book. Well, you're not. You're going to be with me while I decide which book I'm going to pick. Maybe I might put it on Instagram too. Hmm. What should I read next? Boom, boom, poll. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's been a rather slow morning. Uh, on Fridays, I'm normally at home. I work from home because it also gives me a chance to study and, um, uh, uh, do my schoolwork, which is what I've been doing for most of the morning uh, Taking a little bit of a break to check in here with you guys. It is Friday. Yesterday was my f first year anniversary Okay uh, And I didn't even see him yesterday. I was here. He's at his house. It's fine. I'm going to him this weekend today um, But it was my first year anniversary of phase two and then if we combine phase one and two We've officially been lovers for about three and a half years, which is wild. Wild. Uh, anyway, so that's lovely, I guess. Um, no, it's great. So that's, that's something to look forward to. Um, but we won't be celebrating it this weekend. We'll celebrate it next weekend where... We're going to one of my favorite restaurants in Joburg, and then we're going to stay at a Lani place for the night. I'm not going to record all of that anyway. Uh, that's just pairs on now. Pairs on now. Um, and then, so this weekend, the reason why we can't is because I'm meeting my friends this weekend. Uh, one friend tomorrow, and then two of my good friends um, on Sunday. So I'm meeting my very good friends this weekend. So, yeah, that's why I can't really do anything. And he's also got uh, shit to do, bro, whatever. So anyway, this is the week after Cape Town. And by the time you watch this vlog, you will have seen the Cape Town vlog, which is pretty short. And, I'm, uh, and, and uh, you know, I'm trying to do this thing where I'm not hard on myself for doing vlogs that are slightly shorter. I know that you guys are so used to longer vlogs, like 40 minutes, right? But I just, I realized that I've got a lot going on. And for the mere fact that I already push and churn out content anyway, three times a week, you guys just have to just give me that little bit of leeway that some vlogs are going to be shorter if there isn't really anything to document that week um like the cape town one i know by the time you watch this you will have seen it the cape town one is about 20 minutes long so it really isn't that um long because our trip wasn't that long and also i didn't really want to vlog all the time during the trip uh besides naledi was vlogging so you'll probably see her version of the cape town trip because we were together um and that one might be much longer because she recorded a lot more than i did uh, and uh this week i bought a new camera my sister and i bought new cameras um i've been thinking about this for a while and i'm gonna go show you the camera right now i'm gonna unbox it that's why i was saying i'm gonna go to my desk now yeah there's a payment that went through to my account am i happy yes i am who let me move it first before these thoughts is daddy david orders decide to before i can sit and think about my life i got a camera i've been thinking about getting a camera it's going to be my vlogging camera because what's happened is i normally use this camera this one the m50 for my sit down videos and my vlogs but when i do some of my other sit down videos i use my dslr my bigger camera not too often but my m50 seems to work really really well for my sit down videos lighting is great um uh, uh 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 quality is great and all of that but i wanted a vlogging camera and i got one 
<laughs> so I did a little bit of research and I've been itching to dive into Sony. And I'm a Canon girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Canon girl, but I've been, ever since discovering the ZV-1, I was just like, mm, 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 mm. and this was like, what, four or five months ago when I started thinking about getting the ZV-1? Nah, three months ago. And I was just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then my sister went to a Digital Experience, which is where we, it's in four ways, which is where we buy our cameras. She went to Digital Experience to fix something on one of her cameras. And I said to her, while you're there, just find out how much the ZV-1 is. And then when she was there, they told her about the ZV-1 and then they told her about this one that I'm gonna show you now. And uh, it's a Sony as well. And it was released after the ZV-1. It's better than the ZV-1. And it was on special. And I was just like, well done. <laughs> so this week we went, I didn't vlog that because it was a work day and my sister came to my workplace we quickly drove there picked up the cameras she got the same one uh and we picked up the cameras and came back to work and my sister left and i continued at work so we picked them up this week didn't really vlog it but i'm gonna show you that now Ta-da! hello hi <laughs> hey they said i must go to school i went to school and then what a mouse Mara, this is why we are here. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing that excites me more than buying tech stuff. Mics, cameras, TVs, laptops, anything that's techy, nothing excites me more. I get so excited. I can buy a phone, I'm excited. Laptop, I'm excited. Nothing, I buy clothes, not excited. You know what I'm saying? So this is the Sony. I'm unboxing it. <laughs> okay. Okay. that you have given us this opportunity to buy these cameras. So this is the ZVE 10. Okay, so there's a ZV-1 and this is the ZV-E10. This is by Sony. This is the first time I've bought a Sony device, so I don't have much to say, apart from the fact that it's great. Given the reviews that I've listened to, watched, all of that, read up on, it's great. And it was on special and it came with... It came with the tripod. So this is the tripod. Y'all, yeah, sweetie. That's what the tripod looks like. Okay. I don't know nothing about no Sony cameras. But I'm going to take this one with me this weekend. Because my partner knows a lot about Sony devices. So he'll just check it. Do the settings. Do the things. And then... John Dolo. So this is the camera, okay? And it comes with a microphone. That's what it looks like. All right, all right. I'm so excited, I don't know what to do with myself. Yo, that you have given us this opportunity. And it's got a two year warranty as with most cameras. Um, so I believe this one is really good with stabilization um, and it's also pretty good with um, lighting. It's got a really great blur out fix, uh, f um, feature. It's got a very good blur out feature which if I'm using this one in this position, it would blur out everything behind me and keep me in focus. You know what I'm saying? Come on bro. And it's ah. Lenses and accessories that you can buy for Sony cameras. Love that. Love that. Okay, more papers. And... Which, uh, sharp. Grand. John Dolo. These are um, extra cords for when you're in different parts of the world. Okay? Like to plug into different plug sockets in different parts of the world. We love that. Excellent, Tante. Okay. And then there's the muffler. There's the noise reduction control. Eh, 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 eh. Focus here. Then there's this, which is the muffler 
for noise control which is fantastic because then it's small it's cute it just fits on the camera you keep it on there all the time it's wonderful uh, we have another part of for for charging the camera so I'm supposing this goes with Okay, so this camera comes in white. That's my partner right there. He's gonna die when he sees this. So this camera comes in white and in black. Can you guess what color I got? Duh. One of the things that I love, here we go, here we go. Look at her. Look at her! <laughs> Stop it, like you being rude. So one of the things I love most about this is it's got interchangeable lenses. So it is exactly like the M50 uh, that I'm recording on now. Um, you can remove the lens and put in extra lenses uh, from Canon or Sigma or whatever. Whatever lenses you want to use. Um, this obviously Sigma, Sony, whatever uh, lens brands. But that'll fit the camera. This, this. Hi! 4K recording. What do you even mean? We're there. We're within. And of course, the one most important thing. Boom. This is what we're looking for, which is basically what it's on there. But uh, this is the camera. Jesus, it's beautiful. Oh, and it's got a wider... Uh, guys, camera terminology, it's not my thing. It does move things. Let's uh, be very careful here. I'm going to put this on one time. Hey, sweetie. Look at her. <laughs> that you have given us this opportunity to progress and continue with this here career choice that we have chosen. Beautiful. Look at the knobs. Everything is just so easy on it. Here you go. There's a big red record button. Knobs at the back. Look at that. I don't know anything about this camera. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Let's put the battery in there. Ooh, hello. Which way? Which way, chair? Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh. I just. Oh, my God. If you're a techie person, you know what kind of moment this is right here. Okay? Moment, you know. Joy. I just, I just need, I just need a moment, okay? I just, I just called to say I love you. I did. I just called to say how much I care. Look, look at her. Look at her. Um, I'm doing a vlog. Look at her. All right, so <clears throat> I ain't even feeling like it's probably about an hour later. <laughs> I was doing those things and then I just released a video as well. So I was looking at the comments and then charging the phone. Guys, it's quarter to two. I haven't eaten here. I don't know what my plan is. Uh, but we're going to go upstairs now. I'm going to show you some of the things I got from Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I am wearing these leggings. Ladybird, I'm wearing these leggings and they're from H&M and I really, really like them, okay? I really, really like them, okay? But here's the problem. <sighs> the problem is, ne, I could have gone with a smaller size, okay? I could have gone with a smaller size because here, look at this. So now I'm very, I'm very, but they're nice. They're comfortable on the skin. They're quite good. They're quite good. I really, really like them. Um, I'll probably buy at a later stage. Not now. I've got so many leggings uh, and tights. These are actually gym tights, basically. This is what you can use for gym or just athleisure wear. You know what I'm saying? I really, really like them. I haven't been to the gym in a long time, but sweetie, and they're ribbed. They're nice, they hold the body. Ow, ow, hold, hold high. So when was the last time I was in here? <laughs> in a vlog, and I'm like, whew, 
Lips are the right shape. Oh, here we can hey. So I think this portion of the vlog is gonna finish up with me downstairs making something to eat because I haven't eaten at all. Anyway, I'm up here to show you guys. Okay. And Blondie. Ooh, all right, so my sister helped me pick up um, Huda. She forced me to kind of pick up Huda at, uh, in Cape Town. And uh, she was like, it's the best, it's the best. So my shade is 430N, which is uh, gingerbread. And I'm always one shade darker than my sister. But it's funny because my sister says she uses NC45 for MAC. And I use NC42. But uh, this is my shade. It is 430N gingerbread. And I cannot wait. I tried it out in the store because you, you can't just, you can't not, you know? Oh, um, this is me trying to twist, guys. <laughs> can't you pop off? Pop off, okay? So, uh, in the next, the next time I'll be wearing makeup in one of my videos, I will announce that I'm using this got a bit more yellow to it but mine is blondie let's have a look but it's set pretty hey eh? in the stove it's set real nice so here we go got blondie here this blondie it, it works because my the the Bobbi Brown setting powder that I use sheer finished pressed powder is in soft honey and if you look at it this one is pretty much very similar to this one you know so the lighter the setting powder the better it looks on your skin so this one is more richer in color even though it's pretty much finished <laughs> I use this for under my eyes okay but then this one I'm pretty much gonna set all over my face with once I start using, I don't even know how you, oh, this one you, <laughs> lovely, we love to see it. Tiba, tawa, tiba, tawa. Oh, and there she is. Okay, let me do something that's very unconventional right now. But, uh, oh, I want to let it run, but it's translucent, which is nice. Which is very nice. Yeah, 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 it's goishing. Squishing You know, I love that song so much, but I don't know the lyrics. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. lunch or breakfast whatever it is I need to drink my tablet so I need to eat um, so I'm gonna eat quickly catch up on some YouTube and then probably go upstairs and pack and get ready to leave hi uh, so I'm back down here and I took a, a bit of a 10 minute breather I'll be leaving the house in the next hour or so hour and a half and Today's been a rather productive day. I enjoyed actually just connecting with you guys, laughing with myself slash you guys. And uh, <clears throat> this is a little bit of a mental health check-in, you know. I haven't done one in a while. And I just wanted to do one just to... Um, most of the mental health videos or mental health centrally focused videos are on my membership space. So if you're not part of my membership space, definitely do become one, uh, be, become a member because that space is where I share a lot of the, the, you know, the personal side of my journey and the mental health side of my journey. But I do realize that that is what my content is centrally focused on you know, mental health is a big part of this content, so I can't just, you know, limit it to my membership space. I do have to just share where I am mentally as well on here. Uh, you guys deserve that much, you know what I'm saying? So I 
since coming back from the facility, I'd like to say that my mood, the space that I've been in with regards to my mental health has been for the better. And it's crazy because for me, it doesn't necessarily make sense even to me how, because I know that I'm depressed, but I do know that there are up and down moments. There are difficult moments. There are good moments. And I know that my antidepressants have a really big role or play a really big role in how good I'm feeling right now. And I want to stress that because I feel like in my vlogs and everything, it, it feels like I've come across as, you know, I've done a complete 180. And I have. To a certain degree, I have. I'm more confident in myself. I mean, I'm more confident in the decisions that I'm making. Uh, I'm more confident in my content. I'm more confident, you know, in my love life, in my family life. Um, I still do get stressed about work from time to time. I do still get stressed about finances from time to time. Um, but there's a, there's a, wow, what, what's going on? You know, when it's Friday, people tend to lose their marbles. Um, I do get stressed about those things from time to time, but they don't define me anymore. I feel like there's a huge part of me that's decided to choose me and choose, you know, wanting to be better for myself. Um, as much as the pills are helping me chemically, yes, and they are. They're doing a great job at helping me chemically. But there's a big part of me that has also made the cognizant decision to choose myself, to choose my life, to choose my family, to choose my lover, to choose, uh, uh, you know, to grow myself as a person. And as you guys already know, <clears throat> about a month ago, I started at school um, studying to become a life coach because I don't want to be a self-proclaimed life coach. I don't want to be a self chosen, you know, I, I want to be able to help others, but be in a position where I have studied for that and I'm certified to train others or help others in their life journey, you know, in their progression, in their self-development, in their personal development, whether, whether it's with regards to their lives or their finances or, um, everything like that. But, but that's, that's, that's going to come. Uh, because I'm going to integrate my life coaching business, my life coaching career into my YouTube career. They're all going to work hand in hand like this. Um, so I feel like I've really worked hard on choosing me since I left that facility. Um, I really don't want to be emotional about this. But I feel like I've worked very hard and I want to, you know, there are parts, I never really praise myself or congratulate myself for having achieved something. And sometimes you gotta, you have to pat yourself on the back and say, you did that, you know, you did that. And I did, you know, and in the same breath, I've become the, I've reverted back to the Katleo I know myself to be even with my family and my friends and people that I care about. I've reverted to being that person again. And how I mean that is that I'm, I just, I'm warmer, you know? I'm warmer to my family. I'm warmer to my lover. I'm warmer to my friends. But I also love to put a smile on my family members' faces. And I know what they like. And I know what they're going through at this time. I know the stresses that my sister is under. Sorry, my, my nose is itchy. I know the stresses that my sister is under. I know the stresses that my father is under. I know the stresses that, you know, my mom is under. My stresses. But I love to put a smile on their faces. And I do that with the little things, you know. Uh, spending time with them, you know taking my sister's calls when she's stressed out and she's just like, bruh, I need to talk, you know. 
um, buying them the things that they like. And this week, when I got my dad his phone, I felt like that was the culmination to my giving back to my family members. I was doing it small by small, incrementally, and these are the things that I don't share on my channel. I did something for my sister, I did something for my mother, I did something for my aunt, I think I shared that, I, I bought her a phone and all of this. I did something for my dad, some things for my dad. And I did some things for myself. And I feel good. At my core and at my essence, I know what my purpose is. My word for the year was breakthrough. And it's crazy how I feel like I have broken through a lot of what was holding me back. A lot of what made me fall and sink into a really dark place. I chose myself, and it wasn't an easy journey to, you know, to, to, to bring out all these things that I'd kept on, that I'd kept hidden uh, in, 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 my, in my life, you know, parts of my history, the traumas, you know, bringing all these things out and dealing with them was not an, an easy journey. And for the first time in my life, even though things aren't perfect right now, and they're not, but I feel a sense of peace, just a sense of stillness with where I am, and I'm happy with where I am right now. I could be in a better position, absolutely. Couldn't we all? But my thing is, be okay with the now, you know? And that's what I keep telling myself, you know, you've broken through so many things. You've broken down walls. You've, you know, listened to yourself. You've done this, you've done that. But just be okay with the now. Things aren't perfect. They could be even better. But they're not as yet. And that's okay. Like, be okay with the now. And... That makes me feel good. That makes me feel good. You guys are a large part of why I'm okay. You guys were a large part of why I discovered that there's something wrong. You guys are a large part of why I feel good in myself or about myself right now. Because you've seen the change in me. And that makes me want to do more and be better and continue to be good, says the person who hasn't had her antidepressant yet. But I'm going to drink it. So I feel good right now. And it's thanks to you guys. So it's not perfect, but sometimes you just need to be okay with the now. Be present and be there in the now because the now is what matters. As much as your future decisions matter, and the things that happened in your past also matter because they determine how you move forward in your life, you know, whether you work on it or you don't work on it or whatever, they're a big catalyst to where your life is in the present. But sometimes you just need to be present in the now. But be I appreciate you guys. Okay, let's continue this vlog in a nice way. Uh, the next time you see me will probably be in at my partner's place. Probably tomorrow morning uh, putting makeup on. Or tomorrow afternoon putting ma makeup on. Getting ready to go meet my friend at Proud Mary. Okay, I'll see you guys soon, soon. Oh! Hi. Hi, good morning, hi. No, it's not morning, it's actually afternoon. And I'm trying to toggle with the camera a little bit. I'm doing my makeup. I'm at Mami Nienzo's house. He's over there. He has the pants up. Because he knows he got to make a money for us, you know? So, anyway, I'm, I'm doing my makeup because I'm going to lunch with one of my mates today. 
and I'm testing out this baby. And then now I, I want a name for baby girl, né? but I don't know what we're gonna call her. But I'll figure it out. I really will. So get in your makeup. I just wanted to come in and say hi, kill you do me this thing. Because uh, you know, protesting out camera written to the union and kill that one. But otherwise I'm not gonna stay on here long. I just wanted to see how it looks and it looks fantastic. I think it would look better if I was looking that way and it was faced that way. But there's somebody on that way. So you can do that. Mara <laughs> Guys, I need to tell you a story. So I'm finishing with my makeup and doing my lips. How do I look? Shush. I'm telling my people a story. How? So, guys, I was just telling the gent here. Ne, hurry. In my previous relationships, I've never felt comfortable enough to ask for money. Mariana. <laughs> I ask him all the time. I call him, I'm like, and he's like, why? What do you want? I'm like, no, I just want money, okay? I want to spend money. <laughs> and and then he'll be like okay how much do you want and then i'll be like i don't know like five thousand <laughs> and i get it i get it the, 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 you know what the danger is the danger is i get it <laughs> and i can't <give> it his... <laughs> anyway that's neither here nor there but we cannot come on it's a global lady you okay five past one okay bye 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 <laughs> Uh, well, baby, I'm done. Get ready. Hoy I'm Jolong. So let us go. God, I haven't worn a wig in so long, but I, I, I like this girl. Her name is Electra. <laughs> okay. So we brought out Electra to play today, and I didn't even glue it down. I don't have the time. As always. Okay, here's my rings and don't have rings. Tom Harry is Okay, let's go, let's go. Day, it's Monday. I just took out some laundry. I am doing some schoolwork. If you could see my couch right now, it's packed full of books, and I'm just reading up on some schoolwork. Nothing crazy. I just finished doing the first assignment for school now, so that's finished. Uh, I'm hungry, okay, and I feel like having eggs. Is that weird? I feel like having eggs with some fruits maybe on the side, but like. I feel like having eggs. I had a smoothie about, I'd say about three hours ago or two and a half hours ago. So now I feel like having a whole entire egg situation. I don't even know why I want an egg, but I guess it'd be like that sometimes. So that's what I'm going to do now while I take my school detox break a little bit. And then I'm going to just uh, start reading up on um, stuff for assignment two, but um, yeah, let's let's make some food, shall we? Let's make some food. This is pretty much what I'm gonna have for lunch. Pretty much, I guess. Um, so it's just eggs, one Vienna, 
sweetness with the fruits and some avocado and then the sauce that I've got drenched on top there is this one sweetie this slaps okay both of them slap but I pretty much discovered this one when I was at my partner's place and I've been eating it ever since this is the Nando's peri peri um, sauce Mozambican uh, flavored and then when I really want something hot then I dive into this one but yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna have now with a cup of coffee really really want myself a good coffee right now and then I'm gonna continue with my work say in the next hour or so I love let, please let me know what you think of this camera okay once I edit it and then once I what do you think of the image quality what do you think of it because my goodness what I'm seeing honey look at that look at that focus okay 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 but the lighting is really really good on this i'm so impressed um wow wow okay let me eat y'all let me eat i'll talk to y'all later okay bye oh man good morning hi hello it's a new day to say that i am frustrated is an understatement uh if you follow me and my sister on social media, you'll know why. I'm filming this on Thursday of the 4th of August. Connect the dates and then you'll know exactly why I'm frustrated. But I'm not going to give that thing life here on my platform. I'm not going to do that. I am only going to say one thing. No matter who says what, I will support my sister through and through. Especially when I know she's been done dirty. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not a shit starter on social media. I'm not. But people were coming for me yesterday on social media. And everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And I'm fine with that. Um, you want to come for me? Come for me. But I'm honestly the most unproblematic person on social media. But yesterday, yesterday, they were coming for me, child. Do I care? No, I don't. Uh, am I going to support my sister, especially when I know the real story of what happened, what's been happening with all these people? I will support my sister. Maybe one day, maybe one day I should do like a sit down, like I should do a story time. Yeah. And talk about all the things that my sister's told me and I've seen. But then again, it's fine. You know, this for me and my sister, it's not new you know we go we went through our whole lives not being liked by family members not being liked by people on the outside being misunderstood there's nothing new there you know it's just that me and my sister are very different she's loud she's abrasive she's out there about her life and stuff and i'm more subdued but do we go through very similar problems absolutely we do we do we do we do um but either way that's fine I'm pretty much going to end this vlog here because I know I've got a lot of footage on this SD card. I know that for a fact. But before I do, I wanted to share with you. I'm actually going to be leaving for my nail appointment in the next hour. Hour. In the next hour, 15 minutes. I'll be leaving for my nail appointment and uh today i didn't go into work because yesterday was a really really rough day more especially for my sister and um yeah she had a panic attack at work and i had to drive from my place and um go and make sure my sister was okay but these are the things that are happening behind the scenes when people are busy bullying and attacking and doing this and doing this um, they have no idea how it affects the person involved. So, either way, I had to make sure my sister was okay. Uh, my sister does struggle with asthma, so when she has panic attacks, she completely clogs up and she can't breathe. So I had to leave where I was and uh, go over to her JAB and make sure that she was okay. Uh, I still haven't spoken to her this morning. I do believe that she's probably sleeping, which is fine. She needs to, she needs an off today. She needs an off today. Um, anyway, so uh, this week has just been really work week and school week for me. 
uh, today is the only day that I didn't go into work and then from tomorrow we pretty much have a long weekend. Uh, I didn't go into work today because I wanted, yesterday was a long, long day and um, I didn't sleep at all. I, I fell asleep I think at around 5 this morning. I really didn't sleep. I slept for about 2 hours. Um, so I didn't go into work today. I've got my phone with me just in case they need me but I don't plan on going into work. I'm just not functioning. I'm not functioning all right. Um, mentally, I'm a little, I'm down, down bad, down bad. And it comes at a really f messed up time because I was going to use the F word. It comes at a really messed up time because I've run out of my antidepressants as well. So I need to go and get those before I spiral myself into thoughts that are not going to put me in a great place. So... Yeah, yesterday I did my toenails, I did a whole lot of me time, uh, self-care, self-love, I did my brows, I did my toenails, today I'm finishing off with my nails. This weekend is going to be a weekend of uh, celebrating my anniversary with my partner, and also, so I never got a chance to do that um, last week, and you will have seen why, I met up with my friends, and uh um, so we're going to do it this week. And then on Tuesday is a holiday here in South Africa. It's Women's Day. And so me and my good friends are going to be attending a festival at Emerentia. So if you're going to go there, because you will see this vlog, if you're going to be there, please come up and say hi. Uh, we're going to be, you know, just listening to the likes of Zonki, <laughs> Zonke, uh, Amifaku, um, it's just going to be a whole lot of love, you know. Um, for me, it's just Sun L. Really, personally, Amifaku and Sun L is why I'm going there, okay? Um, so, the next vlog is also going to be nice because I'm going to try and vlog on that day. I will vlog, however, with my phone. I'm not going to carry a new camera to a place that's going to have so many people. Uh, am I apprehensive about it? Am I nervous about it? Absolutely. Uh, but... It'd be like that sometimes. I feel like being with my friends, picnic spread set up, having a good time should be a good time. And if it gets uncomfortable, I'll leave. I'll leave. Um, that's that. And what else did I want to share? I picked up this from Checkers. I actually put this in my snaps. Um, I actually got two bottles. My sister took the other bottle. And then I went into checkers again and got another one. So one is at work and one is at home. And it's a one liter bottle. And I absolutely love it. Yep, H2O, one liter bottle. It's glass. We love it. You can put it in. It's got quite a wide mouth. That's so cheesy. It's got quite a wide mouth. So you can put in lemon slices, berries, whatever, you know. But uh, glass is always best. Glass is better. So hey-ho. Um, and so the book I'm going to start today is this one. This is Black Girls Must Be Magic, which is a sequel to Black Girls Must Be Exhausted. And I spoke about Black Girls Must Be Exhausted. Um, this one is a sequel. It's part of a trilogy. Oh my gosh, I owe someone something. I need to do it now. It's part of a trilogy. Um, and I absolutely cannot wait. I've got it on audio as well. This one is a teensy weensy bit longer. Actually, no, it's actually also quite short, meaning I could also finish this. It's 250 pages, meaning I could also finish this uh, tomorrow. If I read, well, I'm going to edit today because I need this vlog to go up. But if I read today, tomorrow, by the end of the weekend, let's say I'll have this finished. Um, plus, I did two assignments for school. I want to get on to my third one and then submit them uh, next week. Fine. And then, there's just, there's a lot going on, guys. Can't wait to read this one. This one follows Tabitha Walker. I've spoken about Tabitha Walker in the Black Girls Must Die Exhausted uh, review. And it's just a continuation of uh, Tabitha Walker's story. So... If you want to know what Tabitha Walker's story is, just go back to a few of my vlogs back then. And then I got a parcel, and I'm not somebody who gets parcels. To tell you that for free, <laughs> I don't get parcels. Um, so, 
Have you watched my skincare video? Do you see this? Do you, here, here. Huh? Huh? Do you see it? Um, so I got a, a, a press drop from La Roche-Posay. And I love La Roche-Posay. I'm not going to tell you how much I love it because a few videos ago was my skincare video. You know how much I love it. So this one is open to discover your power couple to tackle wrinkles, photo aging and dark spots. Yes. 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 Wrinkles. Hello. I am 35. Okay. And there's a lovely letter on the inside. Hi, cat. I don't know when people call me cat because cat is my name, you know. Don't call me kitty cat. Don't call me Gati. Gati is it's, it's very endearing. I, I feel like that is used mostly by family members and people who I know closely. Just call me cat, bro. We're friends, honey. Cat, cat, cat. We would like to, we would love for you to try out a La Roche Posay serums. Oh, hello. Neosanamad. I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit excited. Uh, product information can be found on our website, Africa La Roche Posay. We hope you love our products as much as we do. Thanks, La Roche Posay. I'm glad that you thought of me. Yeah, thank you so much. Here we go. We got two serums in here. One is for deep wrinkles and photo aging. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use both of them. Pretty sure I'm going to use both of them. Okay. One is for dark spots. Uh, visibly reduced in one week sister and it's got niacinamide and ooh, even the bottle is pink or purple we love that okay I'm not gonna put it in as yet <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> I'm a terrible human I'm a terrible human um, and then this one <laughs> I'm gonna do some snaps for Instagram that's why I don't want to completely open it just yet and then this one, ooh, this one is like a blood red. We love that. It's literally like a blood red. It's literally like a blood red. I'm actually scared. Okay, the bottle is red. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Do you guys remember these? That's pretty much it. But do you guys remember these? Am I about to pull up some gang signs? Yes, I am. You know, I'm about the D12, I'm about the Latin Kings, I'm about the this, this, daddy, that. Let me tell you, I'm about it. I saw them at one of these shops that I was at and they were going for like 30 bucks or something. And I was, I had to restrain myself from buying five of them. Like a red one and a yellow one and a green one. I really just might. But to be honest, these are colors that I have a lot of in my wardrobe so it's fine this can work could you imagine i mean i've got a baseball jacket that my sister bought for me in cape town let me show you let me adjust you guys real quick huh huh right right and then you just like you wear like a wig or something right and then you tie up at the wig at the top there or you wear it across your wrist or something like that right right I mean, I was wearing this jacket um, on my lunch date with my friends on Sunday, this past Sunday. I was wearing the jacket with um, my sneakers that my sister got me and um, a dress, a black bodycon dress. And I had this cool vibe about me, you know, and I was wearing a wig and all of that. This would have been an, 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 just a finish, finish. I, I want to be a girlfriend of a Latin king. Okay, Latin Kings were red, but you hear my chat. So, really love this, by the way. She got it from H&M, and I, I don't, she's also got one. I don't remember, mine is an extra small. They, they run quite big. No, 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 mine is a small. My sister's got the extra small. They run quite big, so, you know. But uh, they have them, they have them in green, they have them in black, um, but this is the color that I gravitated towards, which is wild for me. I think we all know that. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna make some uh, water, uh, set up my water bottle with some ice, and then make my way out, okay? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you have, do subscribe, click the notification bell. 
um, I'm sure you can tell that I'm, I'm not in the best of moods. Typically, I am... These days, I'm just... I'm up there, right? But today, I'm not in the best of moods. And that's fine. You know, there's good days, there's bad days. Um, I don't feel much like recording today. I just want to um, take my book, go get my nails done, sit somewhere, read my book, edit this video. And um, spend the day out, not be in the house. So... Thank you so much. If you've watched this video, appreciate you so much. Always appreciate you. Please don't forget to like the video. Let's get the videos to over a thousand likes. I know you guys really do enjoy my vlogs and I really do enjoy vlogging for you. Um, let me know what you think of the quality of the Sony ZV-E10. Love, love it. Love what I see. But obviously I'm still yet to edit it. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but um, yeah. Thanks so much for sticking around. I'll see you in the next vlog, which will be me and the girls out again. Maybe snippets from this weekend. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see you in the next video.